Okay, so we have a patient here. I've gone through and made sure GV20 was open, that all her structural corrections were taken care of, that uh, her spine and her nervous system was nice and relaxed on the table. So I'll just demonstrate GV20 to you. Got a strong indicator muscle and we touch GV20 and sh she tests great. She shuts down really easily. So what we're going to do at this time is look for the colors. So everyone is one of three colors. We're just going to take any of them, doesn't matter. The red one here is the 619 nanometer red color. Remember these three colors are the three primary colors of visible light. When you shine light through a prism and it splits to, through, into the rainbow, these three colors can make all those colors in the rainbow. Just like the old projection TVs had those three lamps on the front of them, these are the exact three colors as those three lamps. Holding strong for me. So we start off with colors over both eyes. Red over both eyes didn't do anything for us. No weakening of a strong indicator muscle. The blue, which looks more like a purple and is 440 nanometers, does weaken us. So we'll do the green just to check. It's usually only one. Hold strong for me. Good. So it's one color. Now she looks like a blue person at the moment. But what I've found over discovery and experimentation over time is that the color in the left eye is really the color you want to deal with. That's the true person. Most people, however, will react to a color over both eyes. That's their adaptive color because most people are under stress. They're going down the highway at 60 miles an hour in first gear instead of third gear. And so they're using up lots of resources in their body they shouldn't otherwise be using if stress wasn't so high. And when I say stress, I don't mean just emotional stress, but I mean structural, chemical, or emotional. Uh, so let's see if purple or blue happens to be the color in her left eye. And she stays strong to that color in her left eye. So by process of elimination here, since we only have two eyes, it's her right eye where blue weakens. So we know that she's really a red or a green person, but she has blue in her. So in this state, while we are giving her nutrients, fixing peps, the primary energetic points, and so forth, she should avoid some dairy because blue people are the folks who don't do great with dairy. But whatever her true color turns out to be is the thing we should really focus on for her. So let's try the red. Red looks good, and the green. And green has a pretty dramatic shutoff. And you'll find that on everyone. Everyone has a color in their left eye and a color in their right eye. In rare cases, it could be the same color in both. I happen to be blue in both eyes. Um, but that's pretty rare. Uh, most of the time, it's one color in one eye and one color in the other. And the color that makes the most uh, sense for us as we treat the whole patient is the color in the left eye. That's where you'll find the characteristics of blue people matching up like the uh, growing pains or the soft teeth and the care if they they'll be blue in the left eye. The person that's green in the left eye, they're the person with the chemical sensitivities usually. Uh, don't react well to food additives, preservatives, don't like strong smells. Uh, they're the ones that tend to get the hives, the rashes, eczema, that sort of thing. And then the red people are the ones with the wheat issues, the ones that have trouble processing homocysteine, the methylation problems. Uh, so those are what you would expect to find typically with the color in the left eye. 